Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 3rd of February, 2019. Posted a couple of videos a few days ago, and I talked about the president of Venezuela that Trump no longer recognizes, Nicolas Maduro. And I had talked about what they should have done first, is made certain that the military felt the same way that Trump feels. Well, it appeared from the videos that I posted a few days ago that the military supported Nicolas Maduro. Article posted by Fox News, written by Lucas Michelonis, that's M-I-K-E-L-I-O-N-I-S. Title, Top Venezuela General Rejects Maduro's Legitimacy throw support behind interim president. Alright? There's an embedded video. Go out here ready to launch a challenge against Venezuela military. <laughs> Good luck with that. A top Venezuelan Air Force general said he doesn't recognize President Nicolas Maduro as the legitimate leader and backed opposition leader Juan Guaido as the interim head of state. Uh, I wonder how much money this top Air Force general was paid, huh? You think that Bolton maybe slipped him a check or some cash in a Swiss account? This is nothing but regime change. What does Venezuela have? Well, they've got a whole lot of oil. <laughs> That's what they have. A video disavowing Maduro's role circulated across social media on Twitter on Saturday, just as Venezuelans hit the street across the country in support of Guaido, who declared himself the country's temporary leader weeks ago. So you stand up and you say, well, I'm the new president. You get people to support that, and then the existing president gets pushed aside. Huh? <laughs> Only in a country like Venezuela can things like that happen. General Francisco Yenes, a member of the Air Force's high command, urged others in the military to defect, according to Reuters. He is reportedly the Air Force's head of strategic planning. In response, the high command accused the general of treason on his Twitter account. That's exactly what it is. It's absolute treason. Yenes is the first high-ranking general to publicly support the opposition leader. Another embedded video. The general's defection signals a shifting view toward the socialist government that is struggling to maintain support among the people amid economic hardship and repression of social liberties and instead have to rely on brute force to assert its legitimacy. Guerrero revealed on Wednesday that he has held clandestine meetings with military officials in an effort to win their support against Maduro. He stressed in a New York Times op-ed that in order to secure a successful transition of power, the military must withdraw its support from the regime. <laughs> the military's withdrawal of support from Mr. Maduro is crucial to enabling a change in government. And a majority of those in service agree that the country's recent travails are unattainable, he wrote. Guaido has been recognized by President Trump from the onset of the political crisis in Venezuela. But the new interim head of state is still scrambling to secure a domestic and international coalition against Maduro. He recently reached out to Maduro's two closest backers, Russia and China, in a bid to convince them to stop backing the regime. He told them their interests would be served better if they switched sides and begin backing him. Both foreign countries provide not only diplomatic but also financial support, even though the socialist economy is unlikely to pay back the debts. As a matter of fact, they don't pay back the debts other than providing free oil to China and to Russia because they can't pay back the debts. What most suits Russia and China is the country's stability and a change of government, Guaido told Reuters. Maduro does not protect Venezuela. He doesn't protect anyone's investment. 
and he is not a good deal for this country. Well, the guy was a bus driver, for God's sakes. What do you want? On Saturday, in a speech to his supporters, Maduro promised holding early elections for the National Assembly as he seeks to outmaneuver a renewed opposition that is trying to use its control of the legislature to challenge his rule. He said it would be up to the pro-government Constitutional Assembly to decide whether or not to back his proposal. Elections for the opposition-controlled National Assembly isn't supposed to take place until 2020. Again, I wonder how much money was given to this Air Force general to get him to flip. Huh? I mean, that's all it takes is money. That's sort of what I think. Take a look at the embedded videos. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. What if somebody said that, well, Trump shouldn't be president. I should. Or whoever wants to say they should. I mean, it's absolute bullshit, isn't it?